Eastern Amp Station from Discovery. Physical separation. Undocking confirmed. Discovery weighs anchor from the International Space Station on the first leg of its journey home to planet Earth. Coming up on the first uh, firing of the uh, primary reaction control system jets to initiate a faster opening rate per the plan. Good stability, good control on Discovery. Eastern Station on the big loop, we see a greater than 100 seconds, we see ourselves in the start block. Yeah, thrusters only just came up. Thrusters only just came up. Station concurs. And Discovery ISS, station is in attitude control. Discovery copies. Mike Barrett and Tim Copra exchanging information. Space Station now resuming its own orientation. And Houston Station on the big loop. We saw ourselves going to uh, Sudi and Mo thrusters only at about 107. And we concur, Mike. Thanks. Discovery now 20 feet away from the International Space Station. Undocking occurred right on time at 2.26 p.m. Central Time as the two craft flew 223 statute miles above western China near the Mongolian border. Discovery maintaining an opening rate of about uh, one-tenth of a foot per second. 34 feet now separating the two vehicles. Pilot Kevin Ford at the controls. Discovery will head to a distance of about 600 feet directly in front of the International Space Station along what is called the velocity vector or positive V-bar, the direction of travel for both spacecraft, before initiating a nose-forward radial fly-around of three-quarters of a lap. Discovery and the International Space Station spent a total of eight days, 19 hours, 32 minutes of dock time. Again, undocking occurring on time at 2.26 p.m. Central Time.
The propulsion officer reports uh, that uh, Kevin Ford is in the process of reconfiguring his jet selection on the digital autopilot to go into what is called low Z, uh, disabling upward firing thrusters uh, once Discovery reaches a point 75 feet away from the International Space Station per the plan.